Berkeley is a technology company. We are focusing on iBeacon technology. We are based in Bangor uh, at Park Menai and we're a small company, four individuals, uh, but those individuals have worked together in the past on previous startups, so we're keen on what you can do with a technology company and having good leveraged effects from a small group of people to something that has a, an impact on the world. The exciting thing about iBeacon is if you think about your mobile phone or your tablet, it's pretty much blind to its surroundings. It's, uh, it kind of doesn't see that there are two people nearby or that I'm sat next to a, a display or a coffee machine or anything else for that matter. So with iBeacon, it actually gives you sight for your smartphone. It's a way for either it to become intelligent about its surroundings or the surroundings to be intelligent about who's there. Now iBeacon itself is a technology developed by Apple, but it's open and it can be used on Android and any other platform that can speak low energy Bluetooth. iBeacon has a very wide range of applications. One of the first things we did up here in North Wales, we spoke with the Canberra Slate Museum and they were an ideal candidate to kind of trial and pilot the capabilities that you can do with iBeacons. If you think about going into a museum and the whole richness and breadth of information they have, if you could channel that to be of real kind of interest to the point where I'm looking at, uh, you know, a big water wheel or something of this kind, um, that can be unlocked through the technology in my pocket and an eye beacon in the Canberra Slate Museum to give me the right information at the right point at the right time. At Lockley, what we're looking at is the new transition now that's occurring because of the Internet of Things, the ability of the surroundings to know about the digital presence of people and other devices. Looking back at each transition point uh, with the internet as that was adopted, mobile phones, each one of these kind of technological inflection points is a really good time as a startup to introduce a new product or service. What we're seeing now with the adoption of iBeacons, um, because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's physical, the actual iBeacon itself is part of the physical environment. So you need a combination of not only software skills, um, but also hardware skills. And I think the challenge now will be how to best bring those two things together, because it's how we exploit that um, from the skills pool we can draw upon, is how we can use that for a commercial benefit and change what is now a physical part of the world to a more networked part of the future world.